Assalamu alaikum. Over the last week, many of us have received news of the recent earthquake that transpired in the land of Haiti. We've read stories, we've opened up our television screens to images upon image of man and woman who, from the land of Haiti, has been greatly afflicted by this most recent tragedy. But what many of us are not conscious of is the fact that the people of Haiti were afflicted far before this recent earthquake took place. That the men and women who lived therein, they found themselves in such a reality that over four million of them lived in a way where they spent 50 cents a day. And we have to ask ourselves why is it that it takes a tragedy such as this to push us to a place that we understand their experience and their story. Why is it that even before this tragedy took place, we were not already there helping them, giving them aid, being a resource, and more importantly, a support for them every step of the way? When we look at the example of the beloved of Allah, alayhi salam, when we look at the example of the men and the women who are around him, we see that these men and women were already resources for the people who are around them that were in need, even before they were asking for any kind of help. That the Prophet ﷺ ran to the people who were in need, even the people who treated him in the most atrocious of ways, this most beautiful man sought to be a resource for them. But our sense of giving, our understanding of giving is quite limited and has changed drastically from the time of the Prophet ﷺ. We hesitate in giving, we put conditions on our giving, we qualify who we will give to, how much we will give, and we don't give in the way that is prophetic in any way, shape, or form. And so we have to think about it, we have to reflect upon it, we have to truly understand what we can be and what we can do, not only for the people of Haiti, but for any person who comes into our life that is in need of our help, of our aid, and of our resources what our responsibility is to them, what kind of things we can provide to them, what in fact we can be for them, not only for their sake, but for our sake as well. That one day you and I will most assuredly stand in front of Allah Azawajal. We will beseech Him, we will ask Him, Ya Rabbi, by Your mercy, will You give us entrance into Your paradise? Will You give us entrance into Your Jannah? And on that day when we are standing in front of him asking for his mercy, asking for his infinite mercy, how will we speak to him? How will we request it of him when we fail to act in a compassionate way, when the people of this world, the people of his creation sought mercy on our part and we sought to act contrary to it? We have to become those people who are willing to give when people are in need and even when we think people are not in need. Our hands have to be giving in such a way that most assuredly our left hand is not aware of what our right hand is giving. And we have to understand that the things that we have in our possession of this world are truly only things of this world. And the only benefit that they will give to us if we are willing to let go of them so that we can assure for not only ourselves but the people around us a better place in this world and in the next. Inshallah Ta'ala, Allah Azawajal will alleviate any of the pain, suffering, and affliction that the people of Haiti are sustaining at this time, and He will bring ease to any individual, both in that country and all over the world, that is facing any trial or tribulation. Inshallah Ta'ala, He will give us the tawfiq and the understanding to truly take responsibility of everything that we have ownership over so that we might become a better resource not only for the people in our most immediate circles but for the people around us everywhere without any kind of qualification or without any kind of condition.